Amen. Thanks for visiting with us. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for for being here. So you sit here now, uh, awaiting trial, which could conceivably be months away, separated from your wife and your children. Was it worth it? Um, yeah, it was. Um, it, it truly was because of what we came to accomplish did get accomplished. And, uh, and even though it is extremely difficult to be away from my family, away from my children, I've, I have six young children, as you know, all the way from 13 to one years old, and, and they do cry and miss their dad, and I miss them as well. But there was an extreme need to be to bring attention to what was going on and to bring to light what of, of some of extreme abuses that are happening to uh, individuals and families and also to expose um, many of the things that are happening uh, to all the people across this nation. So as difficult it w as it was, I can honestly say that yes, it was worth it. There are a lot of like-minded people that supported you throughout this occupation. What should those people do now? Well, I believe that they are continuing to educate themselves, um, but they should get involved in, um, in government, involved in uh, uh, their, with their elected representatives, involved in bringing light to the violations that our federal government is imposing upon the states and the people, and uh, should continue to insist that federal government follow the laws as well. While there are a lot of people that, that supported you, on the flip side, we heard from a lot of people in Burns in particular as the occupation was coming to an end who said, you know, they were happy to see you go. They were happy to see it end. What do you say to those people? Well, it's interesting you say that because when we were in Burns, well, uh, Harney County, because there's a lot more towns than just Burns, um, but when we were in Harney County, we found out that by far the majority of the people supported us. The media didn't report that. Um, they always seemed to focus on those that were against us, and that was their choice to do. But when we were having meetings with standing room only with three, four hundred people, uh, and, and we were speaking to them, and when we were being invited to their homes, to their churches, and when all the supplies that we used to live off while we were there, hundreds of people were all supplied by the community, when we had freezers full of meat, shelves clear full of food, and every bit of that was supplies by the people of Harney County, um, I would challenge you or anybody else that says that Harney County was not behind us, and that certainly is the, is, is the fact. Do you anticipate any other occupations of federal property? <coughs> no, I, I do not anticipate that. I believe that we brought enough attention to the, the topic that the people that need to know and, and the people that are still finding out now um, uh, know and that it is the duty of us now to continue to push this to get these things right. And uh, I would like to go home and, and spend time with my family. Um, I do understand that, that uh, demonstrations like we, what we conducted, if you will, um, are a method in which we as a people have always used to bring attention to government overreach, to government um, acting outside the authority that the people have given it. And so if government continues to do that, then I imagine there will be groups, you know, um, that will continue to, you know, protest and continue to demonstrate. But my, I have no plans to do, any, do anything in the, in the near future. Um, would you support that type of activity? Well, of course I would. I, I mean, we have the Boston Tea Party. We have Martin Luther King Jr. was, this is what he did. This is what, how he gained rights for the, for the black community. This is how the women, women's rights were gained. These, this is what our nation does. This is how we bring attention to a topic, and we do it legally and lawfully, to a topic that needs attention, that needs to be brought forth. And uh, so, of course, I support it, but it needs to be done peacefully. It needs to be done in the, uh, in the proper way, and it needs to be done so people aren't hurt, and that's, that's what we did. 
Let me take you back to the day that you were arrested, January 26th. Were you surprised? Um, I, I, I was not expecting it, no. Um, we, again, we were headed to a community meeting in Grant uh, County. We were invited there by the community. We, we knew that the sheriff was going to be there. He, he had already said he was going to be there. We knew that it was three, three or 400 people that were going to be there. And see where we were peacefully going to Grant County with our laptops, our projectors, and our PA systems. And they attacked us um, like we were um, domestic terrorists or, or terrorists, even foreign terrorists. Attacked you in what way? Well, I mean, we were driving and they, they ambushed us. That's what happened. And, and we, were, we were peacefully going and giving our message to the people of Grant County. They invited us there. They had set up the meeting, all of that. And again, <laughs> we, our, our, our weapons were a laptop, uh, projectors, and a PA system. And their weapons were, uh, you know, a standing army with 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 full gear. And um, and I don't I don't even know what would have provoked them to act in such a way, other than maybe they them listening to the media about how dangerous we were when we really weren't. So you knew no sense that the government was moving in at that point. No, we 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 were doing we were peacefully educating people, and we had no reason to believe that the government would come in and and attack us that way. No reason at all. You surrendered. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> why? Why? Why wouldn't I? I literally, why wouldn't I? I? I mean, we were never about violence. We were never about, you know, about like fighting to the death, if you will. We were about educating people, about making a a, uh, a demonstration that would bring light to a topic about to a topic about. How government is prosecuting Americans for um, for ranching and for logging and for mining and for and also for simple things as hiking and, and camping and and uh, basically how government ha federal government is overreaching and overstepping its bounds that the people have given it. That's what we were there for. Mm -hmm. At what point did you learn that uh, Mr. Finnegan uh, had died? I did not. Um, find that out until after I was in in the van, um, and that's that's when I found it out. <coughs> How did they share news of that tragedy? Well, I found it out with some of the, with you know the others those that were there. Have you seen the video that law enforcement released of the I have. tragedy? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Okay. Um, well, I I know probably more facts than most people know, and I know for sure that Lavoie saved many lives that day, and that he is an American hero. And if he wouldn't have done what he'd done, there would have been more people dead today to talk about. And I honor him. He was a, he is a wonderful man. He was an American cowboy who was a family man that loved his country. And to be shot down the way he was is, is an atrocity. And, um, and uh, but I am also grateful for his... Uh, his stand and, and willing to save lives that day. Can you explain that? I don't quite understand. How did he save additional lives? Yeah. Well, I, and I'll, I'll just leave it at that, but I, I, um, I know that that day that he, he saved lives and that if he did not do what he did, that there would be, the rest of the people in the vehicle would be most likely uh, killed as well. And I and that that that's all I will say about it. Uh, the final four occupiers uh, that remained, what role, if any, did you play in um, encouraging them or having them surrender? Yeah, and I again, I I didn't play a whole lot of role. I did play at the end some role, but 
uh, as, I, as you can see, I'm being advised not to talk about it. And I would rather, again, talk about, you know, what we were there for, why we were there. Um, there's a lot of details that, that will be uh, exposed, and, uh, and we're, we're excited for that. We feel very confident in that they will favor us as they're exposed. Um, but at this point, until there's been full discovery made and uh, shared, I, we, we need to talk about, you know, the things that, why we're there and, and what was our purposes. Let, let me pose just one more question <coughs> regarding those four remaining occupants, because you released a statement through your attorneys at the time, and I just wanted to see if you could elaborate that. It, did they do the right thing in staying there? I've, I've released a lot of things through my attorneys, and, um, and I, I, I wouldn't answer that, that question for you right now. I'm sorry. Uh, in some of the court filings, the FBI has alleged that they're investigating possible damaged artifacts and sacred burial grounds at the refuge. Right. Is your damage done? None whatsoever. We offered those artifacts to the Paiutes, multiple, multiple the, the Paiute people, multiple times. We offered for them to come get them. We offered for them to, uh, to us for to deliver them. Um, and it, it appeared that most of it was just some type of political thing because they never, they never would respond. They say they wanted them. They said that they were theirs, but then they never responded. So, but so we left them alone. We never messed with them. And the, th the thing that I would like to point out is how poorly the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was taking care of those. They were just screwed everywhere. Uh, they, weren't, they, weren't, um, they weren't taken care of. And uh, so to come in and say that we, uh, you know, somehow took care of them worse than them or in any way, you know, we, we didn't. We respected them. We, 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 we respect their culture. We respect their, you know, their beliefs. Um, we have very close ties to uh, Native Americans and we and, uh, have very uh, fond um, connections to them. And, and anyway, um, so as far as those artifacts, I, I think that it was a, it's a great political uh, ploy for those who are trying to demonize us, but the reality is different. Maybe you can the, set the record straight then as far as reality. One of their claims is that they found a trench with human feces near a sensitive cultural site. Yeah, and I, there was no trench that I know of that was built in feces or any of that. So, I mean, I, I don't know anything about what they're talking about there. None. There was just none. So.